Hey, welcome back to James Repair Shop. Well, I've got myself a dash cam. I didn't buy this dash cam. It was sent to me by uh, GKU. This is their D700 version. It's a, a box set of a forward-facing and a rear-facing uh, 4K front-facing camera and a 1080p rear-facing camera. And uh, I haven't opened it yet. I just want to explain that I don't normally do too many of these things. I get a lot of offers, but I was in the uh, market for a dash cam anyhow, so I said, said why? well, why not? Well, let's take a look at the box and see how the presentation of the box looks. Looks pretty good, some pretty decent graphics. Uh, a little glary, I'll pull the plastic off, we'll get rid of the glare. But there's just some information on the box, as you can see, 4K front, super night vision. Uh, the angles of the front and rear camera, and it co also comes with a free SD card. Uh, now on this side, just some QR and some barcode, and over here is the, basically the same thing. Uh, 4K front and 1080p back, GPS tracking. It gives you the screen size, 3.18 inches. And it's also Wi-Fi and controlled with an app, which you can download, and we'll do that. And that's about it. On the back is just more information about their company and where they're from and whatnot. All right, let's take a look in the box. So let's pull the plastic off. We'll get rid of some of that glare. My trusty knife out here. Hopefully you can all, can all see this. I'll try to turn it your way. I have a hard time getting a camera angle here. I need one of those uh, neck mounted uh, camera braces. All right, so that's that. I don't want to block the view of the unboxing. There it goes. That took a bit. So in the box, we have uh, an owner's manual. I'll set that aside and, and uh, when I can't figure it out, I'll get my wife to read it and she'll, <laughs> she'll figure it out for me. Uh, there's a business card here or an information card. It actually tells you where to go to get the app. Well, we'll be doing that. So we'll set that aside. And there are two, if I can get a hold of them, electrostatic films for the windshield to mount the camera on on the windshield. There's two of those. And get out of, out of view here. What's in this one right here? That's the cabling and stuff. So what's this camera? In this little package here. And this is the camera. This is the forward facing camera. So it would be mounted like that. And there's the touch screen. We'll set that aside. Over here. Keep it all in the camera view. And here's the rear camera. Let's take a peek. Oh, that's not the rear camera, sorry. This is the uh, power port adapter. Cigarette lighter if you're old like me, but nowadays it's called the power port. 12 volt power port. So set that bag aside. And here we have the rear facing camera. I'm getting ahead of myself. And there we are, rear facing camera with a adhesive stick on, sticker on it to glue it onto those that he, uh, electrostatic. This camera turns. Looks very simple so far. And what else is in the box? There are some little uh, clips with some stickies on them. Put the camera out there because that's the main feature. Two extra of the stick pads right there. And a trim tool. Well, there you go. That's what's in the box. I, I'm quite impressed with the matte finish uh, and the weight of this. It's, it feels nice. You don't want them too heavy or it'll fall off the fall off the windshield. So let's go out and install this in my 1979 F100 pickup truck because I kind of wanted that's what I wanted a uh, dash cam for. Uh, before we go out there and do that, uh, I just want to mention this. I believe this is on sale on Amazon right now. I can put a link in for Amazon.ca, but if you're in the U.S., you'll be wanting to buy through them. You can also go to their website and shop through there. 
but uh, Amazon seems to be one of the preferred places to pick up these these kinds of things. All right, let's go out to the truck and we'll get this mounted and test it out. And then we'll load the app up. Okay, out in the truck. I'm gonna take the mirror off to mount it. I wanna mount the, the new camera right there. And I just cleaned it with some Sprayway glass cleaner. I hope you guys can see that. Clean the area. So I'm gonna put it right about there. I wanna be able to see the screen. So I'll just yank this off and get it out of the way for now. So I have one of those electrostatic films. Let me get it out of here if I can peel it. So I got the electrostatic film kind of separated here. I'm just gonna stick it up on the on the window, kind of where I want this camera, and try to get the air bubbles out the best I can. And the camera will be facing this way, so I'll get the the adhesive off the camera. There we go. That looks like it will stick pretty hard. All right, kind of center it. Portion hold. All right, so that's the front one. And I'll do the back one the same, and uh, we'll get it hooked up. So there's the rear one mounted. And I'll just run this wire over and I'll use one of those adhesive clips. I don't use the sliding window. It won't open right now anyway. It needs to be rebuilt, but that'll be good for now. There's the front one done. And I realized when I was putting it up that I didn't take the lens cover off protecting cover off the lens so let's do that right now while we're thinking about it come on if I can get a hold of it one hand job here there we go don't forget to take the protector covers off all right so let's get her hooked up and uh, that's what those um, to run your wires and stuff, you, I can run it over here and use those uh, adhesive clips to hold it in place. But for now, I have it running right under the seat. And uh, let's get the uh, cameras hooked up and then we'll get that app loaded. So this is where the uh, power port comes in handy. And this was a cigarette lighter because she's an old vehicle. The only trouble I have with this setup is that when I put this in low gear it's going to hit that but I'll leave it I don't need the low gear in this this truck she's a granny low job I seldom use the granny low anyway we got some uh, blue light happening in there so I know that she's plugged in so I'll get this up in here uh, probably too much wire for this right now so I'll have to coil some back up and make it tidier there's the rear camera on the side. So I got the camera hooked up. The mini USD card is in it. it. It's right there. I didn't show you guys that. Sorry about that. I'll click it out. Get my fingers out of the way. So there's the mini USD card. I almost forgot about it. So it's their own branded one, uh, GKU Pro, 64 gigabyte. Let's put it back in. They don't have fingernails long enough, but <laughs> come on you. There she goes, she clicked in. Now hook up the camera again. Camera's hooked up. And now I'll put the power on it. Like I say, I'll have to dress up these wires somehow along here all right so everything's mounted I hope you can see this okay there's a lot of glare in here so I'll turn it on there's one button on the side to turn it on and then it chimes actually I'm going to remove this uh, screen protector it might help with the glare a little bit maybe we'll see it might make it worse too okay so oh yeah a little little better so first it comes up with uh, language, so I'll pick English. And then it's the time zones. Well, I won't do that right now because we're in a Saskatchewan and we don't, we have an oddball time zone. I won't look for it, but you can scroll through your time zones. I think we're, uh, I forget which one we're on this time of year because we don't change time, so it changes. All right, so we'll skip that one for now. 
Okay, please format the SD drive. So I have to format the SD card, sorry, not drive. So I'm going to push the confirm to format the SD. All right, successful, confirm. All right, so it looks like it's recording already. So all we're doing is looking straight forward. And uh, now you can go into a whole bunch of other settings. Let's see what we have here. This, here's some of the settings we have in here, and this is for your Wi-Fi and playback. And, oh, back off, touch that, pretty touchy. So, button to start and stop recording. stop recording there we go see and this is for the Wi-Fi we'll turn it on I don't have the app start set up recording. so this is where we'll get the the app set up right here but I am uh, using my phone so I can't get into that right now so we'll do that in a second Mute on. Mute off. all right so let's go into the settings Stop again. Recording. Right there. All right. So in in the menu, there's resolution. Let's see what there is. 4K and 1080p. I'm going to leave it on that. And then there's video segment. So it tells you how long you want the uh, videos to be so let's do five minutes at a time and then screen sleep and you can scroll through that let's sleep in three minutes while we're doing this work and after that we'll pro I'll probably change it the date and time well I'm just gonna skip over that right now and then up here is there's the time format again so I'm gonna go 12 hour system now there's a time zone again that's the one I was looking for I'll say, yeah, sure, why not? We'll just pick that one for now. G sensor, you can set the sensitivity for it off. All right. And then there's the fatigue driving alerts. So I'm gonna have it off for now, but it'll go up to three hours. We'll leave it on off. Uh, oops, she's touchy. And then unit speed. Uh, I'm going to go kilometers per hour while I'm in Canada here. And I'm not going to put my license plate in, but it's there if you want to put it in. You can put it as a timestamp. And then, of course, the language again. We have it on English. Light source frequency. I'll probably do 60 hertz. Yep. And brightness. Uh, it's on high right now, so I'm going to leave it there for now. Probably at night you would want a little lower. And there's the volume, medium. I'll leave it on medium for now while we're doing this. System settings. There's the microphone sound, power sound on, key tone. There's a whole bunch in there, voice prompts. Seems like everything's turned on for the most part. You can... Uh, Flip the rear, rear mirror and stuff like that. You might want to go check that out. I'll do. I'll be checking it out. GPS. There's the GPS coordinates. Seems to be connected already. And there's the format, the SD card, which we've already done. Don't need to do it again. A factory reset. And then we're in information. That's the uh, firmware. And app download so we're back to the app download so in order to do app download i'm going to have to scan that qr code and i'll do that right now and i'll get right back to you all right so here we have the i almost forgot this right beside the gear for the settings we went into the settings but i didn't go all the way over went right to the qr code so the right the one the little touch button beside it lets you go to the rear camera there's the 78 bronco back there waiting for some work and then you touch it again and it'll give you a picture in picture of the rear with the front one and then touch it one more time it'll go back to front only okay i've downloaded the app right here and let's see if we can add this uh camera on okay you gotta give permissions 
Hopefully you can see that okay. So it's uh, added permissions. Let's see if we can get into this uh, into this camera. All right. So it shows how to add the camera. It's in it's in Chinese, but the black button there, and then cl uh, connect to Wi-Fi, and we'll we'll select it. We gotta find it first. Stop recording. All right. So maybe I have to open it up. Oh, it has to be turned on. Start recording. There it is. So we're connected. I don't know if you can even see that or not. Let's go out of that. Go back into this. Now we'll add the camera again. There it is. Camera's connected. So if I should be able to turn it sideways and that's a real time view of it. Not hard. Um, I'm not uh, technical savvy, so I'm a little slower at it than some people are. But anyway, that's it. So it'll turn. Uh, you can turn it uh, for horizontal. Gives you a nice view. That's what it's recording right now. Let's see if we can switch it around. I hit the wrong button. Confirm. Check the app. Confirm. All right. Let's see what's in here. Oh, here we are on the app. You can do it. It'll switch there. There it goes. Yeah, so you can do it right on the app. It won't let you do it from the camera while the app's running. I don't know if it can do that sideways or not, if there's a spot for it. Doesn't seem like... No, you have to do it on the vertical. But there it is. It's switching back again. Good. Well, that's the app. So let's go for a little drive around town. It's a beautiful day. We'll shut this off. I'll open the gate up and then we'll take a run around town. All right, let's go for a cruise. That's it. That's the test run. Summer it was still asleep. <laughs> I know. It's only 7:30. I slept the whole thing. It I feels know. like 
it's about 9.30 at night. Yeah. And it's like, oh, why is it so busy out? I don't know, because it's just barely after yeah, dinner. <laughs> yeah. Now we're just cruising. Yeah, just take a, take a lap around. No, uh, not winter, so no Christmas lights to see. Mm -hmm. Just a regular cruising. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I jokingly just shoved this aside and said my wife will read it to me or if I run into problems. But anyway, in all fairness to the company that sent this to me, I want to cover it a little bit. So this is the user's manual for this. There's five different languages for this uh, 4K dash cam. So on the inside is your warranty information. I'm not setting that up because this was given to me. So didn't, there's no warranty for me. And then there's some getting started, some warnings and then the languages that it's in and then a menu for this uh, manual and then this is what's in the box all those things that we covered earlier and then the product overview shows the adhesive the three m adhesive tape mounting brackets and all that kind of thing and this is the uh, page the window the touch screen on the vehicle as you see it when you open it up and it has the uh, recording status and all that kind of thing. Settings, I noticed they put uh, lock video instead of rock, or rock video instead of lock video, so maybe they want to correct that in the future. And uh, well, here's kind of focusing all over the place. And then this is your next screen when you go into the settings and all that kind of thing. We went through that. And this explains each setting, well, what they are. And then this is where the SD micro SD card goes how to install it and remove it and all that kind of thing that's pretty straightforward stuff and then mounting instructions right there again that's kind of how you do it every car is going to be a little different so yours will be different than mine so the introduction to the app is here this is the springboard for the app the opening page of it or not the opening page but the first screen you'll come across when it's hooked up and then there's the GPS activation. Oh, turn the page. And then we have here is the camera files. Again, we covered that, how to download the camera files. And here's all the camera settings inside there. And most of those are available in the app also on the camera itself, the front forward facing camera. And then that's it. And then there's uh, troubleshooting if you're having our, our FQA, frequently asked questions. So it should be asked, it should be FAQ, but they have FQA. Some spelling in here needs to be fixed up a bit. But that's all good. I think that's the end of it. Yeah, right there, specifications. So there's some specifications on it and what can t operate in temperatures and that kind of thing. And then some QR codes to get a hold of them. And then it moves on to the next language, which I think is German. Yep. All right. Well, that's the user's manual, but worth to take a peek. Well, that's my presentation on the GKU D700 dash cam, forward and rear facing dash cams. 
I found it easy to work with. Uh, installation was easy. The uh, app connected quickly. Uh, the only issue I had with the app was uh, to download it. it. It wouldn't download by Q, uh, scanning the QR code on the actual uh, camera screen, but I went in the, in the manual here and I found a QR code there and it worked right away. Anyway, uh, seems to work well. Uh, happy with it. It's a uh, price point. It's good. I mean, it's, it's just a little over $100 right now to buy one of these. So, uh, you, and the two cameras. So it it's, uh, comes with everything you need, plus the SD card, the micro SD card. I mean, that's uh, not at a big expense these days, but why, why pay more if you don't have to? So quite happy with it. The video quality, it's 4K. I mean, I, it, we have another, well, we have two other dash cams. And it's definitely up there with those ones uh the one of them is quite an expensive dash cam and uh, this one is right up there with that uh and the one that i'm talking about the more expensive one and i'm not going to say who it is is uh it's sometimes difficult to connect the app to it and then to get fill to get the footage off it, it it can be a bit encumbersome we'll put it that way this is simple like it downloads i did have uh though i must say when I was trying to download all the files at once, it, it came up with a few errors. But I think what happened there was the uh, microphones that I'm using. They're uh, uh, Hollyland, I think they're called. Yeah, Hollyland microphones. I think that they were interfering with it because I hadn't any trouble to do it when I wasn't wearing the microphone. So anyway, I'm going to call the microphone issue. But there was an issue with errors, but I was able to download all the files with no corruptions or anything. So they, they were all there and they were all fine. So anyway, that's it. Uh, that's my presentation. Um, hopefully you guys found it helpful. And I really want to thank GKU for sending me this, this uh, dash cam setup. Uh, really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching everyone and we'll catch you in the next one.